to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Now, apologies, it's obviously, well, you don't know that it's Thursday, but it's Thursday today, and I didn't weigh in yesterday at Jenny Craig. I did it this morning. We had a few things going on, and I couldn't make it yesterday. And I have written down some of the things I want to talk to you about this week because I feel like I just randomly talk, and then when I finish the video, I think, oh, I should have said this, and I should have said that. So I have lost weight, and I'll tell you what I've lost at the end of the video. Um, now, a few things this week. I have also forgotten to tell my consultant Lee, so hopefully she'll, she'll watch the video and she'll, she'll know the things that I missed out. Um, I have a few things going on in my personal life that are really good, but it's meant that I have been doing a little bit of extra running around and um, stressing, not sleeping. So it, it is it's a good thing everything that's happening is all good but I've had a few things going on so I've been a bit uh, the last few probably the last couple of weeks actually um and I've got it's running through my mind so I've got a bit of like energy so I've been wanting to as soon as I had my husband gets home or before he goes to work I've been wanting to get out the house and exercise I've been feeling a bit like stir crazy so exercise has increased tremendously and I feel like my energy has increased as well we are walking most days and a lot further than we were walking so we're taking the dogs out and we are really enjoying that and I feel so much better getting in the fresh air and the one thing I have noticed I dropped a couple of days I dropped the amount of water that I normally drink and oh my goodness I noticed it my skin I, I could feel it in my skin with the change of weather with the weather getting colder I can see that my skin is I'm starting to dehydrate, but I could also feel it when I hadn't drunk the right amount of water. But talking of skin, my overall complexion, I don't know whether you guys notice or not, but let me know, let me know if you do. Like In the last week or so, I feel like my complexion has evened out and it looks more consistent. I'm a little bit pink because I have been exercising and I've perpetually got bloody great big bags, which I shouldn't do that because I look worse. I stick my head up like this, you can't see my bags at all. But let me know if you think my skin has evened out. For me personally, I feel like it has. So that's a really good thing because I think I've mentioned before, actually, I don't think it's on these videos, I think it was a skincare video. I used to suffer from shocking rosacea and I was on antibiotics, which just made me sick, but I came off the antibiotics and I actually treated it myself with certain types of skincare and it's just gone. So I freak out when my skin looks bad, if I get the tiniest, tiniest little thing going on with my skin, it really freaks me out. So I think it's looking nicer and I'm happy about that. So food wise this week, I ate pretty much everything and I find I'm a lot hungrier now because I'm actually exercising. So eating the amount of food that I was struggling with, I'm now finding it a little bit easier. And I'm not having any issues with the food. Obviously, as I've said before, there's a few meals that I don't like because it's got like mushrooms or olives or something. But it's very easy to swap the food within your certain groups of foods according to the menu. Um, <laughs> sorry, guys. Now, the other thing I had, another cream egg when I got home from weigh-in last week because I said the week before. I'd, I'd, sorry, Tammy. <laughs> I had it straight after I filmed and then I had all week to work that off. So... For me personally, I find Jenny Craig really good because there is um, there is an element of little treats in the in the menu that it, like you can have a little bit of ice cream or you can have a a sticky date pudding or there are chips in there. Um, so it's not a fruit and veg and, and all things healthy diet. I mean, it is all things healthy, but you know what I mean. There are a few little treats that you can have, but I've also found. Um, if my husband's having like hot chips or something, I'll have a couple as a treat. Every, and it's, this isn't daily by any means. This is every now and then. Or if he's got um, a little treat, I'll have like a tiny little bite. This is the stuff that I didn't tell Tammy. So she, <laughs> sorry, Tammy. But no, it's just, I find that if I don't restrict myself completely and I just have a tiny little bit of something, I don't crave anything. So I find that that's better because for the first few weeks, I was thinking I want pizza, I want this, I want that. So I've had my cream egg. I'm just looking at my little little list here. And I, I do have the occasional treat. And I mean tiny. I don't have a great big portion of chips or anything like that. And if I have a piece of chocolate, I have a tiny little cube of chocolate. And that's enough for me to feel like I've had a treat. And then I don't want to go and scoff an entire bar, which is quite probably what I would 
would have done previously. Other things to tell you, I'm seriously addicted to pickled onions still. It's probably the worst thing you could be addicted to. Although they're calorie, like they don't add to your calorie count. I have two or three of them a day and I'm like, oh my God. Husband says, do you want anything from the supermarket? I'm like, oh, can you get me a jar of pickled onions? So it's kind of like some weird pregnancy craving, but without without being pregnant but I really like them and now I know that they're, they're not going to make me put on any weight I'm hoofing them a bit so that's bad um now clothing I still haven't done my body shots I know I'm sorry I know I promised you but I got approached by a clothing brand and they wanted to send me a few pieces now it's a plus size clothing brand and it's really nice it, I, I've picked quite selectively because a lot of the clothing I didn't feel was suitable for my age and there's nothing wrong with that it, it, it does cater for lots of ages but I was picking um stuff that I would feel more comfortable in so that's on the way and once that gets here I will do a little lookbook and I also but we won't tell my husband that because he don't, I don't think he watches these videos. So he might find out or he might not. But once I've got them, I'll get him to take some photos. Um, skinny jeans. I went actually to change a pair that I had today because I think I told you the ones that I've got, I can actually un take them off without undoing them. So I thought, oh, I'll go and get the size smaller. <laughs> we, we ran into a problem because I have massive calves. I couldn't actually get the jeans, the smaller size over my calves. So I couldn't get any. So where some of me is shrinking, my calves obviously aren't shrinking. So where I could have got the size 16 around my waist, my calves wouldn't let me do it. So I'm wearing a belt and hitching up the size 18. So that was that. And now I need to tell you what I weigh. I did lose weight this week, but I completely confused myself because I think I've mentioned that my scales weigh, I'm one weight on my scales and then the Jenny Craig scales say something completely different and then my doctor's scales say something different again. So I've just not even constant, not even thinking about what my doctor's scales say. But I weighed myself yesterday and I weighed one thing. Then I weighed myself this morning and I weighed something else. And then I thought the batteries were still funny on the scales. And... I was three different weights this morning and then when I got on the Jenny Craig scales I was something completely different. I was like, oh my god, I've put weight on. But I haven't, I've lost 700 grams, so I'm now down a total weight loss of 9.3 kilos. So that will be on the screen and that will tell you what it is in pounds. So I'm hoping next week, I'm hoping, it might not be next week, it might be the week after, but I'm hoping to crack that 10 kilo weight loss mark. Now next week's only going to be a six day week because I'm weighing back in on Wednesday. So I might have to forego the cream this week and up the exercise so I can get down those 10 kilos. But I'm super, super happy and I'm finally feeling a bit more energetic because I was really expecting it in the first few weeks. And I think because of the thyroid, I, it just wasn't happening. So it was getting me down in the dumps a bit. And no, I haven't gone to get my blood test done. I should because I'm like a month overdue. But anyway, that is that. That is everything. I think that's everything I need to tell you. If I do remember anything, I'll put it in a blog post. And I will catch you next Wednesday for Wednesday Weight Update. So guys, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions for me, pop them in the comments box and I'll get back to you. I will link Jenny Craig below if you are interested in checking them out. And if you haven't subscribed, guys, please do. I really appreciate your support. I will see you next Wednesday for Wednesday Weight Update. Thank you for watching and I'll see you. Bye.